Hi, greetings from Indonesia. I'm Saud Sagala from Bandung Institute Technology. We'd like to present what we have accomplished with the Resilience Development Initiative, RDI, Sheffield University, Monash University, and University of Malaya in mainstreaming nature-based solutions for sustainable development. As we know, climate change is associated with hydrometeorological risk causing wide-ranging impacts on the global economy, human well-being, and the environment. Based on the National Disaster Management Agency, there are a large number of hydrometeorological disasters that occurred in Indonesia in 2021, mostly floodings. The cause is commonly driven by the land use changes, intense rainfall, topography, and mixed with the vulnerability factors. Nature-based solution aims to meet this challenge by using nature and managed ecosystem for mitigation, adaptation, and sustainable development. The benefits of NBS varied from the micro to macro scale in reducing the impacts of climate change. Meanwhile, in mainstreaming NBS broadly at various scale faces four barriers to do with perception, policy, timing, and finance. One of the impacts of climate change in Pang Pang Bay is Java, Indonesia, is sea level rise. The communities there have been replanting mangroves along the essential ecosystem area as part of NBS, which contribute to reducing the impact of sea level rise and provides alternative livelihood for communities. Therefore, NBS is a promising approach to establish urban resilience and reduce disaster risk. We hope this issue can be further discussed in Ignite States to bring the awareness of local and regional governments globally to work together to craft the right of incentives and regulation to create a supportive environment for the widespread application of NBS. Thank you.